yes what's going on everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm at molyneux for wolves versus villa with matchwornshirt.com please remember to like comment add subscribe as usual yeah what a game we got on our hands today midlands derby let's have it yes lads made it to the glorious city or town of Wolverhampton like being in Dubai here yeah made it a couple of hours drive not too bad and never done Molyneux before I've done, I've done 70 odd of the 92 I was going through them earlier the few I haven't done in the Prem but yeah Molyneux is one of them ne never seen a game here um, so yeah looking forward to it and Villa as well Villa on the up Villa are flying under Emery so yeah hoping it's going to be a good one and Wolves just got battered 6-0 didn't they by Brighton so hoping that they, they turn up today and they'll want to sort of make things right um, but in terms of score predictions I'm going to go with a 2 all draw high scoring game maybe a last minute equaliser for someone um, I just want to see Adama Traore play as well obviously back in the uh, Pulis what was it 17-18 season or 16-17 season Adama ran riot and I was I saw firsthand what he can do to teams and he just hasn't actually done a lot since being at Wolves obviously um, but what a player on his day he's ridiculous but he's probably the most frustrating player I've ever watched in terms of he does all the hard work gets to the line and then smashes it into Rose Ed, but yeah I'm, I'm, in, I'm here with Georgie boy today George what are we saying what are your predictions today? Prediction. Um, Cross the road, don't get run over. Yeah, uh, looking forward to it. A uh, bit of Premier League. I think Villa need the win more than Wolves. Um, so no. I'll, I'll go 2 1 Villa. Because um, Wolves are safe now, aren't they? So it's, it's one of them. So I'll, Pre I'll pretty back nothing. Villa win, yeah. Nothing game for Wolves, is it really? Yeah. Like They're just sort of playing for next season. They're safe, nothing's happening. Yeah. But they want to bounce back after that 6 0. So yeah, ah, there's the ground. Just seen the first glimpse of the ground there. Beautiful. Let's get to the ground then and have a little little mooch. Here we go, here's the ground. It looks actually decent. Look at the size of it. it looks quality. I mean in there, I know they do all the pyrotechnics and that before the game, which looks decent, so yeah, looking forward to it. I've got my got the old obviously I'm not gonna wear a wool shirt today. So I've got the old, there's only one shirt for it, isn't there? The Portugal what is it portugal 98 one full of portuguese around there aren't they so yeah look at that so i'm here with clarky but what are we saying today then i'm saying three one to the villa yeah who's scoring uh i'll say ali yeah john mcginn yeah and Bertrand to already yeah and i'll say diego, diego costa for use but ollie watkins got to be scoring hasn't he I don't it, know, but he's, it, having, he's it, having a bit of a, a bit of a dip at the moment, but you're allowed to do that once you've banged in so many goals in the season, you know what I mean? And Gareth Southgate's got to be calling, isn't it, soon? I'll tell you what, Southgate's, an, excuse my term of French, is a turnip. The, <laughs> be, the best players are staring him in the face and he doesn't want to pick them. I thought, I thought something a lot worse than turnip was coming out of <laughs> I'm on camera, mate, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. You know Anyway, I mean? check that kit out, look. Jeez. Retro, old school. <laughs> Here we go, we're outside the ground. Looks like the Villa bus has just turned up. Don't know why there's this many Wolves fans here though. Some, they're all waiting for something. I oh, know it is Wolves. Never done this before. Best defender in the world. <laughs> right, we're in the wall store now. Let's have a look at these retro kits. That one is naughty. Not feeling them old school ones like that. The 90s ones. And that one, if it wasn't score draw. And check this out 18 quid for this season's kit with a name and Premier League patches on. Never knew they did end the season sales anymore, but that is a deal. All right, just done the club shop, 
some decent bargains in there. Who's that look? Stan Cullis. But yeah, done the club shop, come out. I'm trying to find people with a, um, a retro shirt. I want the Doritos days. What's that, in the 90s? The Doritos and the Goodyear stuff. But everyone, everyone around here, around Molyneux, has got the new Castore stuff, which is obviously great, great for them, great for the club. I've seen no retro shirts, apart from the remake, some of the, some of the score draw stuff and, the, um, and whatnot that are selling in the club shop. But yeah, I just can't seem to find any proper retro old school shirts. I've got all the Castores in. I'm hoping I'll get one or two Doritos or Goodyear eras. The Robbie Keane days is what I'm calling it. And I just want to say a massive thank you to matchwornshirt.com um, for sorting me out the tickets. Like the PSG game when I bid on Messi's shirt, today I'm going to be trying to bid on probably Diego Costas or Adama Traore's um, if they're starting. Team news will be out shortly actually. And also um, the shirts will be raising money for the Wolves Foundation who do a lot of work for the community in and around Wolverhampton and wider areas. So yeah, massive thanks to those guys. Go and check out their website. You'll see all the shirts from the game up for sale, all the ma up for auction, sorry, all the match worn stuff, um, still with their mud on it, still with their sweat on it and starting at a bargain price. So yeah, go and check those out. They'll still be on there now, even though it's after the game. It's before the game now, but you lot are watching it after the game. So yeah, right, I think that's about it in terms of pre-match. Bit of a weird atmosphere to be fair. It's a bit of a nothing game for Wolves obviously, but they've just got whooped 6-0, so they'll be wanting to turn it round. Haven't seen many Villa fans, but I'm not at the away end, but I'm gonna try and, probably time to get in the ground now. Um, I've lost George, God knows what he's doing. And yeah, see what it's all about. Are we in? Yes. Finally in. Went to about nine of the wrong things. Decent little gaff. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Making our way to our seats here. Got some naughty seats, look. <laughs> That's obviously where the players come out there. Look at that. Look at that stand, that's absolutely huge. Big fan of the stadium? Yeah, it's decent. I'm liking it. It's nice. Yeah, what a stadium. Quality. You can't really see it because it's lower, it's lower in the ground. If you ever look over there, you probably can't see it what I just pointed to you. It's like underground type thing. It's like built on a hill, but uh, yeah, never been here before and hopefully I'll be back next season with a Bora. Quick pint in the Wolves concourse. Not the best poured pints I've ever seen, but we'll have it. And I'm driving today, so I'm only having one, one pint. And I'll tell you what, it's such a different experience not having a drink and driving. I've loved it. We got here two and a half hours early. Been outside the ground getting, getting a load of videos and stuff for Match Worn Shirt and all the Wolves fans I've spoken to have been unreal. I was on the hunt for the Doritos uh, kit from the, uh, what was it, early 2000s? Robbie Keane days and the um, Paul Lynch days. And no one had it on and I managed to get it. I finally, as I was up the way, up the way to my stand, the Billy Wright stand, to the seats, I saw one bloke with it on, an original as well, an Admiral one from back in the day. So I was buzzing to get that. Um, and yeah, every Wolves fan I've spoken to has been absolutely quality. So now it's all about the game. Get to the seats, watch the game, and watch Wolves do the business over the villa. Wait, no. 
your flamethrowers there. Here we go. Villa nil. Decent game as well. Only one goal in it, but you can tell the difference from the Championship to the Premier League. I'm just hoping we're here next season. Best chance of the day. One, Craig Dawson. Used to be shite, now he's all right. Walking in a Dawson Wonderland. And the amount of quality on both benches. Phil Coutinho can't get a game. We've got Sarabia, Joao Moutinho. We got Adama Traore who come on. Gave a little clap, didn't we, George? Yeah, of course. Adama, but a legend. Tell you what, if we go up, we need to be in for him. Out, out of contract at the end of the season, isn't he? Even as a sub, get him in. Even as a sub, mate, yeah, exactly. But yeah, unbelievable day. Big three points for Wolves, bouncing back after that horrific 6 0. A few of their fans actually said uh, before the game they expected to win. Because they, wanted, they were going to bounce back, but yeah, they did it. Villa didn't really turn up, to be fair. Probably bash the youngster knocking about as well. And lastly, I just want to finish it off with a thank you to matchwornshirt.com. I bid on Diego, Diego Costa's shirt during the game. Haven't looked to see if I've won it yet, but I'm sure someone will have outbid me. Uh, but yeah, go and check out Matchworn Shirt and see uh, some of the shirts available on there. Till next time. See you in Naples. Oi, you. Yes, you. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And please remember to hit the like and subscribe button if you want daily football content. And if you've got any football related videos you want to see me make, drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. Bang.